What's up YouTube, Tinman77 here and today I will show you Bard portals and I will tell you a li little bit about it, like when are they good and how hard they are. If you just care about the portals, there are probably other videos out there. But yeah, let's start. First of all, we have the base portal. Right, the one I do pretty much looks like this. And it's not perfect, you just go back here and then you click somewhere here. There's a lot of, um, of different like... Um, ways where you can click you can like click here you can click further so many different variations find out what you like the longest one you can do is if you step here and then that's pretty much the longest where you touch the in hip you can do i think a little bit longer one but those are for me not consistent enough so usually i just jump back here and click somewhere here it's a bit shorter but you can do it in in a nanosecond Right, if you wait two seconds to find like the perfect portal, might not even be worth. Now, how do you train this? How do you practice this? When you start playing Bard, every time you're in base, you like click on the spell. Right, you don't you don't like try around here and click. You click on the spell. At the at the you know at the beginning, it will cost you some time, but that's how you learn it. And then at one point, you get a feeling for it, and then you just kind of click, you know. The most important board portal, for sure. Learn this, practice this. You use it 10 times a game every time you walk out of base, except maybe for mid lane, then you go through the Nexus. You can do the same <clears throat> same on top lane. Uh, just do a portal here. You have to watch out that you not click on the, on the shop, right? You have to click into the portal. For the next one, we have here. This is a bit harder. With this portal. When is this good? When, for example, portal is on cooldown when you're in base, then you can use it. Or if you have home guards, you can run with the home guards and then do this portal. It's hard to do it perfect, but even if you do like uh, some sort of portal here, it's good. There's some rare scenarios for scenarios. For example, if you're red side and you're pushing the in hip, you can uh, use it to escape. Right? You kill this turret, you kill the in hip. Enemies are respawning. You just take this portal to to come back. And if they take it. And you just stun them. Simple as that. Then there's another one here. And everything I'm showing is also mirrored for, for the other sides, for the other lanes, right? Almost everything. But you can you can do them there as well. There's one here. Not a lot of people know this. Rarely any useful. Maybe your ADC gets dived. You can do this portal. It's super hard. It's not that useful. Don't waste too much time learning this. Because the problem is, you can't really do it from this side. You can do this. Maybe if you get dived, you can use this to escape. It's super rare that you actually need this. But for some clutch situations, you can use this. Then we have the Alcove portal. This one, most parts, you know, they will just, if you just do a portal here. It's alright. It's alright. You can escape with this. This one is super easy. But there's a very long one. This one is really hard. But if the enemies take this, they are completely undeterred. And if you stun them, then... Yeah, it depends a little bit on under how much pressure you are. It's really hard. Now I did it without the, the ability. But yeah, doing it fast, oftentimes you will end up with this portal. If you're under pressure, you can do the short portal. But this one is one I'm still practicing because it is super effective. If they take it, they are pretty much dead. You can do the same here. Right, this one is not the perfect one. It's a really good one, but the perfect one would go even further, right, like right to the turret. Those are the most important ones. Then you can, on Dragon and Baron Pit, you can do these portals. And then if you take them from the right side, you will get Vision of Rake Pit and also Baron Pit. Right, but if you take it from this side, you don't really get the Vision. You have to take it from the side close to the pit. This can be really useful because you, as you see, you get vision for the whole pit for a brief moment. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The uh, Alcov portals, right? You can also do them top lane. This one is good. It's not perfect, I don't think. Oh no, on top lane, I think this is the longest one. Yeah, on bot lane, they're a little bit longer. And you can do a pretty long one. Same here, they're under turret, you just stun them. 
Those are the hard ones, and there's obvious ones. Like if you rotate from bot lane, you just throw a portal through here. The new wall they added, it's it's pretty good. And I think that is all. Those are the portals. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this little bit more educational Bard content, leave a like, leave a comment, consider subscribing. And see you guys another day with another video. Pinman out.